So when you heard that, what was your response? Well, Bay was right. Yeah, demonstrating caution before coming to conclusions served Whoopi Goldberg well this time around when it came to the frenzy surrounding Princess Kate's absence from the public eye the last few months. The View first talked about the ongoing story two weeks ago, March 11th, when the digitally altered photo was released that was intended to ease concerns. That she said, listen, I manipulated the pictures. I'm sorry. Listen. Where is she? If manipulating pictures was a crime, the Kardashians, my best friend, and I would be in jail not, for the rest just, of our lives. Didn't I just say that this is something right. that everyone does? I think even if she's recovering, she needs to do just a two video. Hey, no, guys, I'm she, gonna that's get back the thing. to you. She doesn't need but, to do it. So that day, Whoopi was on the side of, it's just a Photoshop fail. What's the big deal? But then Sarah Haynes took it in a much more consequential direction. Where is her wedding ring? Oh! Okay. So if, if the firm edited the photo, which I think I thought not they would have edited it in, it not, not off. The it uh -oh. not the firm did this. Then two days later, on March 13th, the next pic released was a hot topic. I think they released another picture yesterday of Kate in a car, and... You uh, can't see Kate. And you can't see Kate. Look at this. Bad. Yeah, that... And then look at the brick on top. Be, yeah, but that doesn't oh. mean... Oh! Look at that. <laughs> you guys are... But it's Sarah's it's, fault. We, it's your fault. Because you bought I'm into the problem. it. It's me. Yeah. Okay. yeah, Sarah actually was the problem here. Like, I was very surprised at how mouthy she got, um, you know, talking back to Whoopi. Like, it was almost disrespectful, I found. She took a picture. She said, listen, I photoshopped it she myself. Didn't take I it. did so it. She didn't take Whoever it. Whoever took Someone it. Someone took it of her. She... She... You know Sarah, her. Palace, Sarah, can I say they yes. photoshop the photo? The palace? What started out as a comedic segment and clearly planned that way, Took a very serious turn. And Karen, then they released I, two photos. I'm gonna, photos. We're going to go to break. No, no, I'm too angry Wait, now. I yes, it. because it just, it's, people do this to you. You know, you haven't had this done to you. No, it's this Sarah stuff, fault. it's, no, no, it's our fault. It's our fault because we bought into this. When you buy into this stuff, when they start doing it to your family or they start doing it to your kids, it's not cute. Does that sound a little familiar? Yes, yeah, so there's another topic. It's hard to even make a connection between the two. Uh, but yeah, there's another topic that, um, you know, kind of snowballed back in 2015, 2016. That would be the Bill Cosby allegations. We'll see what happens, you know. As more information comes out, people can make judgments. As the allegations grew, Whoopi was the sole holdout in that circumstance as well. I don't like snap judgments because I've had snap judgments made on me. Sure. So I'm very, very careful. When somebody ruins your reputation, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And nobody asked me if it was true. They just said it. I, it's not fun, I, and it really irritates yeah, but, you know, me. I, I understand. They're all, they're all made up. Because yes. you've had personal yes. feelings about this. Yeah. It ended up she was on the wrong side history of that one, and eventually had to do kind of a mea culpa on air. But this time around, her precaution was correct. She's because not she there. wanted to do it. <laughs> no, I mean, not I'm worried. Because she wanted to, she wanted that to take the part, picture. That part, Sarah, and that this part. Is, and this is how Start stuff... Start commercial. This is, no, no. Back to March 13th, Sarah was still going for it. Like, girl, like, your comedic instincts aren't that good. Like, read the room. It's time to... Mm. Oh, I'm going to put this out because you're going to get hammered for this. It's true. I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm just going to say it. This is all speculation, and we're having fun. Okay? <laughs> just know that we know that we don't know. And they had some more fun on March 19th when the video of Kate emerged. That this is not something they are worried about over in London. <laughs> why are they not worried? Because they know where she is. Do they? Yeah, they do. I then have... why don't they tell us? Yeah. They did tell you. They she told was you. at a market this They weekend. told you where she, she was. I always find it interesting when they decide to um, you know, take a comedic route with the hot topic. Like, they obviously decide in the morning meeting, like, you know, let's just have fun with this. And the royals have body doubles. It's, just, <laughs> it's, security. it's a security um, issue. It's, um, it's... Definitely a security issue. Yeah, this one seemed to flip back and forth between let's all of a sudden talk serious about this and then let's go comedic with it. I love that they're they're saying she's gonna reemerge on Easter like the second coming but of it Kate Middleton. Like he double, so he doesn't care. It? Well, he, he should. He's also a prince. He doesn't carry his own bag. Yeah, Whoopi was ready to get high at 11, 10 a.m. And yeah, with this whole Kate thing, like I wasn't really fully tapped into it when it was happening. I just kind of saw you know headlines here and there, um, so it's hard to. You know, for me to have a perspective, like not knowing what the, you know, what the end result was. Wait, Something is going on. I think that is Kate Middleton. That's not Kate. I think there's some question. But I still don't see why people took the comedic tone with this. Like we knew she had surgery. Um, yeah, I just don't get why people 
found it to be such fertile, you know, comedic ground. Whoopi, guess what? It's time to go to commercial. Wake, Wake up. up. <laughs> well, after that segment last Tuesday, the ladies, minus Whoopi, had to give their own view a shake after Kate's announcement on Friday, which they talked about today. I felt awful, to be honest. And Whoopi was right. Um, I'm guilty of having gotten into the fun of where's Kate. We didn't give her an ounce of, not we, you did, a lot of other people did. I didn't think about, there's something more serious here that she's dealing with. The lesson I learned was, when Whoopi Goldberg tells me to mind my own damn business, I will mind <laughs> my own damn business. She wants privacy? Mm. Yeah, same. I mean, I, I'm deeply remorseful that I allowed Sarah Haynes to drag me down the road. <laughs> Sunny Hostin, still going the comedic route. Odd, but okay. I went down this crazy rabbit hole, thank you to my co-host, and to myself. I have to take blame for that because I also didn't listen to Whoopi Goldberg, who told me to stop. And I didn't. And so, here I am. The most guilty party on that panel, Sarah Haynes, honestly seemed to craft a statement that had a lot of, like, words that would, um like deflect uh, people getting mad at her. Like she said the word kids, she said Diana, she said uh, treatment of women. Like it seemed to be all these like buzzwords, just like, yeah, let's focus on that. Don't like get mad, mad at me. Because yeah, Sarah did not handle this well at all. I've always questioned the way that the royal family handles women because whether it was Princess Diana or Fergie or Meghan Markle, I was not blaming Kate for what was going on. It really bothered me the way it was handled. Whether it should have been my business or not could be debated. It's your business. Just do it in a respectful way. She mm -hmm. reassured everyone she's getting the best care. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's so important for her kids to hear that, you know, she's in good hands. I'm not going <laughs> to say I told you so. Well. No, I'm not because, you know, listen, there, as I said, once you've had this experience, yeah. it, it's, it can scar you. Yeah. It can scar you because, you know, the, once those things begin to happen, everybody jumps on board and you, there's no way to stop it. Yeah. You know, inside, Whoopi was going like, da 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 da, I was right. <laughs> and yeah, sure, she can have this one. No. I tried. tried. No, I did try. <laughs> I did try. Because I, I, I don't want people to misunderstand you all. I don't want them thinking that you're making fun of somebody because mm -hmm. they're ill. Because that's, the, that's what folks will say. Yeah. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the ladies, minus Whoopi? Having to adjust their view of okay. And we should have listened to you, and we didn't. Well, you know, maybe you will next time. I don't put any money on no, it. No, she won't. 